It feels like summer already, but officially it's just around the corner and we all want to get out of the house. A lot of us have still been cooped up, but before you head out into the sun, you need to make sure that you have the right protection. We're talking about, we're not talking about the face mask here. Consumer Reports has released the list of the best brands for 2021 so you don't waste your money when it comes to sunscreen. CR tests sunscreens to determine their effectiveness against the sun's ultraviolet rays, UVA, which can cause aging, and UVB, which can lead to sunburns or even cancer. Testers look for everything from how a product delivers on SPF coverage to fulfilling on waterproof claims. The SPF, or sun protection factor, is a measure of how well a sunscreen protects against sunburns. Breaking down the numbers on a bottle, SPF 30 blocks 97% of UVB rays, SPF 50 blocks 98%, and SPF 100 blocks 99%. Sunscreens don't always live up to those claims, and sometimes they fall short, and that's where CR ratings come in. A $4 sunscreen you can get at Walmart is this year's Best Buy. It's Equate Sport Lotion SPF 50. A longtime top performer came in a close second. It's Kiehl's Activated Sun Protector Lotion SPF 30. This one actually performed even better than the Walmart brand and UVA protection. Two spray screens also made CR's recommended list. Hawaiian Tropic Island Sport Spray SPF 30 and Alba Botanica Hawaiian Coconut Clear Spray SPF 50. Now, how do you make sure that you're putting on enough? Consumer Reports has some pretty simple directions. Number one, if it's a spray, you want to spray until you're glistening. Get a little sheen going on. Now, the important step here, you just don't want to leave it. You actually want to rub in even the spray stuff. That's the important step. And then let's get to the uh, lotions. When it comes to the lotions, pretty easy to remember. It's roughly about a teaspoon. So say the size of a nickel or so in the palm of your hand. That'll be enough for your face, head, and neck. And then you want about the same, a, ta a teaspoon here for each arm. A teaspoon also will cover your chest and abdomen, depending on your size, I guess. You might need more in that case. And then you'll want some for your back and the back of your neck, and that's also going to add up to a teaspoon. Now, if you're in a bathing suit, you want to make sure that you cover your entire body. And just like the sprays, you want to make sure that you rub it in. And don't forget, when you're out and about, you'll all, you will need to reapply often, especially if you're doing the splash and dash. Jen's kids are Wait. sitting at home going, Mom puts a whole tube on. I think that's Wait. a bit much. One you know, teaspoon? Wait just a minute. <laughs> you, you, the I, whole my tube kids too always much. look white. <laughs> no comment. Um, uh, you know, when I looked at it, I was like, a teaspoon does seem kind of small, stingy, but yeah. hey, if, it works. if you have the lotion and you're rubbing it all over, <laughs> you know. You know, the other thing to keep in mind is that after you're in the water for, uh, you know, a fairly decent amount of time, you do have to reapply. And, or if you sweat a lot like I am right now. <laughs> That's true.